In an interview with Kotaku, Phil Spencer was asked about the lack of quality with Microsoft's first party games. Uh oh. In this community, when Phil Spencer talks, most of us listen, especially the Xbox guys. But of course, PlayStation guys listen also. But they listen just to make fun of Phil Spencer and throw it in our face saying, is this the guy that's supposed to take the Xbox brand to greatness? If so, I don't think he's the right guy for the job. Well, anyway, Phil Spencer did an interview with Kotaku regarding the level of quality of Xbox One exclusives. The guy said, I look at the first party operations of all the platforms and I see a lot of Game of the Year contenders from both Sony and Nintendo and I would say, bluntly, looking at recent years from you guys, Forza Horizon stands out, but not so much Crackdown, not so much Halo 5, which I think many people thought the campaign was weaker than others. Gears 4 was solid, but it wasn't outright the best Gears ever. So you have good taste in games, you play a lot of games. I don't know if you see it quite the way I see it, but do you see that there has been a challenge in terms of high quality game creation with you guys? And if so, have you figured out the remedy to get past and make those stars again? He's saying pretty much the paraphrase, Nintendo games are great, Sony games are great, Xbox games are ass. Phil Spencer responded, I think quality of first party is very important, so I'm totally with you there. We did reach a time in our first party where the number of games and studios that we actually had and were investing in put a lot of pressure on everything that we were doing. And it became more difficult to manage a portfolio when you kind of needed everything at any point to hit that date that it had picked three years ahead of time at the very high level of quality. Now, help me out if I'm wrong. But it's Phil Spencer saying the number of studios they had, the games that they were investing in, hurt them because maybe they didn't have enough studios, meaning they didn't have enough games being created, and it was pressure on those guys to make these games and put them out because they didn't have any games. So therefore, the level of quality wasn't good because these games were rushed out, like Recore was rushed out. State of the K2 was rushed out. See if these is rushed out. Is that what he's saying? I don't know. Help me understand, y'all. But he also said that uh, the support that we're getting now and we've had over the last couple of years has allowed us to invest in our first party, adding eight new studios and really create room for us to focus on quality. I feel good about what Rob Fergus has done at Gear Studio The Coalition what Bonnie Ross has done at Halo Studio 343 Industries, what Alan Hartman has done with Turn 10, and what Helen Chiang has done with Minecraft. Okay. So, Phil Spencer is pretty much saying, now that they have more studios, they can have more quality games. Now, to me, I'm not a Phil Spencer hater, right? But I'm not a Phil Spencer lover either. I think he's okay. Um, but for Microsoft to have this issue this generation, to me, it's unacceptable. Okay? They had an issue where they didn't have enough studios. They have studios now, which means they're going to have more content in the future. But we all know these games take time. Look at high-quality games like God of War. That game took five years to make. Horizon Zero Dawn took like five, six years to make. So we do know the games take time. Um, I was disappointed in E3 this year. I, I was. But I still do believe the future is going to be much better. Um, but yes, this generation has been underwhelming. We talk about it all the time. Um, I don't understand if the budget was the issue. The studios, well, even Phil Spencer has admitted the studios was a problem. And we heard rumors about the budget being a problem, but they cut the budget and they couldn't invest how they wanted to invest. So, yeah, man, this is um, a good interview. I definitely put the link in the description. So there you have it. Phil Spencer pretty much admitting that the first party quality this generation has been lackluster. It's no secret, man. We all know that. Um, but I did a video maybe sometime last year and I said that 
with all of these new studios Microsoft has acquired, even though all of these studios are not AAA, but they will have a nice steady flow of exclusive games, about three to four exclusive games a year. And if you have 15 studios, that should give the other studios that's doing high quality games enough time to make sure those games are high quality. Excuse me. To make sure those games are high quality. And that's all we want. That's the Xbox, guys. We just want some high quality games. Um, I love everything about the Xbox. The controller, the ecosystem. Yes, I'm an Xbox guy. But the most important thing this generation or any generation is exclusive games. And yes, this generation was a letdown. But Microsoft knows it. Phil Spencer knows it. And of course, the consumer knows it. And I hope they really get their shit together and make next generation a lot of fun. But this generation is over, y'all. We know that. This generation is over. But you know what else is over? This damn video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble upon my channel, you think I'm decent enough, why don't you subscribe? Just go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the, the subscribe button. Shit, it's just a button. And if you hit that button, hit the notification. Damn, notification button. I can't even talk. To know when my black ass is doing some new content, y'all. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love.